Good evening, everybody. Great to have you all here. Lovely to see you here once again at the Hammer Theater for our second concert. I'm just going to lift this for a moment. Um, for our second concert here uh, at this really wonderful establishment. We love playing in this theater and we love sharing music in a space like this. As Jay alluded, uh, because our model is to be inclusive, we give out free live streaming, we give out free tickets. The idea is to, so many of us are teachers, we want to make sure that our students are able to take advantage of classical music and live music in San Jose, that we do have real costs to continue bringing these experiences to you. So if what you see tonight is something that you're like, yeah, it's great to be able to offer this to others. And we want to make sure that it continues to be available. Consider donating or underwriting our concert. And there'll be more for that on our website and uh, also via various emails coming through. We love that we're able to play music that is contemporary. Contemporary music also comes with a cost. Anything that was written after 1924 is still uh, copyrighted. And so we're glad to bring a couple of pieces tonight, which we'll have Dr. Catalina Baratza talk about uh, for you. Uh, in that regard, but that of course comes with rental fees as well as performance fees and all the other fees. Um, so thank you so much for considering and supporting the Cambrian Symphony, which has lots of different layers to it. If you're brand new, if this is your first Cambrian Symphony concert, can you clap your hands so I know how many folks are here? Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, welcome. Well, I, I uh, for 10 years, I waved my arms, uh, and tonight I'll be playing cello in the orchestra, which is a real treat. Uh, this orchestra was designed for a couple of reasons initially, very quick history. Uh, we started because the Nutcracker Ballet was using a CD uh, as the music at the CPA, and they didn't like that, and probably nobody liked that, and they wanted to bring live music back, and so I got reached out to, uh, to uh, see if I would be interested in a project to bring live music back to the Nutcracker, and I enthusiastically said yes, and many of the people here on stage were part of that very first creation. We didn't have a name yet. We were just called Live Orchestra, which was good. Um, <laughs> and then we did that for two years, and many of the members were like, you know, we'd like to continue hanging out together during the season. Let's do more concerts. And then we flushed it out to a real need, which is a lot of the students in the public schools, it's great that they have access to the arts. We need our public schools to give access to the arts, to give access to sports, to give access to homework centers. We need our kids to have uh, all the resources necessary, and we know that not all kids do. So one of the things that we don't have is that with private orchestras and the way that they're constructed, typically the students that are in those orchestras started very, very young and had access to private lessons. It's a very expensive and kind of exclusive club to be able to get good enough. So we want to make a home for students that started later, that started in the public schools, maybe didn't have access initially to private lessons, and give them a place where had they started at five years old, they would have been competitive with all those private ensembles. But because of their later start, they're just working really hard to catch up. And they might have caught up in a way, but if they're 15 and 16, they can't join some of those younger orchestras because it just doesn't work socially. So the Cambrian Symphony became a mentoring situation for young uh, young uh, students, uh, music, music students, who are really excited about uh, following their craft and being exposed to really high level literature and getting them college ready if they were choosing to do that. In addition, we have all this mentoring because all the musicians on stage are donating their time with a plethora of backgrounds, my favorite three amigos word um, with a plethora of backgrounds doctors lawyers therapists teachers everyone on stage here is contributing to society in different ways but we all come together through music so thank you for sharing their love of music on stage here tonight and it's just a thrill that we get to invite a new conductor uh, to share her vision of how music can be and feel and be experienced uh, dr catalina barraza has uh, got her first degrees in bogota colombia and then she went to arkansas uh, for her master's degree and then she went to michigan state to finish up her doctoral work uh, before going from one school of Spartans to a new school of Spartans where she is now currently the professor of violin and viola here at San Jose State University. She's a fantastic human. She cares very much about, about music and about community and about doing the very best for her students. And it's been thrilling to be able to see her work with the symphony and see her impact on our community immediately. So you're in for a treat. We're gonna get the show started. Before Dr. Baratza comes out, we wanna make sure we welcome our concertmaster. Please put your hands together for Nina Hahn.